I recently heard a philosophy thought experiment that's supposed to show that free will conflicts with determinism. It goes like this. Suppose someone's deciding what course of action to take. Now, of course, when a person's deciding something, they're using their brain to do it. And using your brain means that the neurons that make up your brain are sending chemical and electrical signals to each other. And chemistry and electricity are just physics, and we know that lots of things can affect what happens down at the level of fundamental physics. So suppose that some cosmic ray comes in and affects one of those neural interactions. Maybe an electron zigs instead of zags, and the difference in electrical activity causes other effects, which eventually cascade into one choice being made over the other. Whoa! That cosmic ray just caused a decision to be made. Clearly, if an outside force like a cosmic ray can make a choice for you, you don't really have free will. It's just an illusion. Hold on, though. Are we sure it's free will that's the illusion here? It seems to me that the argument is exploiting the human tendency to focus on a high leverage position and ignore the things that make leverage possible. It's like a salesman who wants to claim credit for all of the revenue that his sales bring into the company. Sure, he's there when the money changes hands, but what about the fact that he wouldn't have anything to sell if it wasn't for the manufacturing division? And what about the product design and marketing teams that make sure the companies make things that the customers want to buy? In order for this cosmic ray thought experiment to work, aren't we really considering a decision that's sitting at a tipping point between two options that are almost equally weighted? If the person's normal preferences led them to absolutely love one choice and hate the other, would we be so quick to agree that a cosmic ray could be the deciding factor over which choice gets made? If the cosmic ray merely had the effect of making the person a tiny bit more or less confident in the same choice they would have made even without the ray's influence, would we say that the cosmic ray was responsible for the decisions? Or the thoughts and opinions and other things happening in the brain doing all the heavy lifting here? I think what's going on in this thought experiment is the same kind of misdirection that stage magicians use in their acts. It doesn't make a compatibilist conception of free will actually disappear, it just makes it seem that way by carefully drawing attention towards some things and away from others. I don't think free will is an illusion, but this thought experiment might be.